This is a summary video of the project funded through the Royal Society of Edinburgh. It was a very successful project which can be seen through the objectives that we realised. We're very thankful for the opportunity that we've had through this project to deliver training to police officers and interpreters in Scotland and in Ireland. In Scotland, initially we launched the project by explaining what resources that we were planning to use in the training that we had developed previously and we also launched a documentary. This was attended by 24 people in person and 77 people online. We then conducted two different masterclass workshops in two different locations, one in the north of Scotland, one in the west. Unfortunately, the one in the south had to be cancelled due to a lack of registrations, which is the impact of running training in rural areas. We trained altogether 19 people, eight police officers, 10 interpreters and one independent domestic abuse advisor. They all felt really impacted from the training and felt that it should be included in general CPD and also in mainstream training for the police. They felt there was a good mix of resources and information and now they can see the different perspectives from police officers and interpreters to share their learning together. We also provided a workshop for tra a train the trainer workshop for police and interpreter educators. We decided to do this online because they were scattered throughout the UK. Altogether, we had 15 police educators and seven interpreter educators. The feedback from this train the trainer workshop was based on a training manual that we had shared with them, whether they felt they could incorporate this into their own training and they all felt they could do that. But the police in particular wanted to see bite sized pieces of training that might be easier for, to incorporate in an app. And we organised a number of workshops in rural parts of the country. First up, we went to Donegal last April and worked in collaboration with Angartha Siakana. We wanted to have a maximum of 20 people participate, but there was much greater interest and so we organised a second date, which had a more general focus and we had approximately 50 people in attendance. On the second day, with our 15 participants, we had Gardaí, members of SATU and interpreters, and we had a really wonderful day with very positive feedback, particularly around the opportunities to bring together people from the Northwest to work collaboratively on this topic. We had another event also planned for the Northwest. However, we couldn't find a date that was easily available for everyone and interpreters weren't available for the date we did find. We also organized an event here in Dublin where we brought together trainers of spoken language interpreters, sign language interpreters and people involved in a number of other areas. We looked at the manual and we talked about the goals of that manual and asked for feedback. People said that they felt it was incredibly accessible, that they liked the artwork, that they would incorporate it into their training and that they particularly liked the glossary that we created in ISL and that that would be incorporated into the Irish Sign Language Interpreter Training Programme So in terms of next steps, we're hoping that we will see the training be delivered more sustainably through police and interpreter education programmes. And also there might be other opportunities to facilitate a meeting between Police Scotland and the Garda Shia Connor. We plan to apply for further project funds to do follow up funding and also have publications in the pipeline.